Also, I should really just release the paste placement component, just put it on GitHub, because I haven't worked on it in, like, a week. I kept saying, like, oh, there's just a couple more things I want to do with it, and then I'll, I'll put it out there, and I just haven't been doing anything with it. Okay, rolling. Oh, about just making new splits every time you take a break? Yeah, that's fair. There's problems with the component right now, also, where you need fairly clean splits for it to work. Like, for example, it only compares against runs where you haven't skipped any splits up to that point. Thank you for releasing me, um, so like, as you can see on these splits, I have finished 112 runs, and by the time I get to the end, it's only comparing against, like, 80 of them or something. 80 or 90. That's something I'd like to work out, because I think... There's problems with my split file data that I know other features of Live Split seem to have a way around. So I want to see... I need to look into how they do it already. And, uh... Just try to handle it myself like that. Oh yeah, Joe, I know you said you've been busy lately. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're ready for, uh... For all the traffic the town's gonna get. Remember to do grocery shopping, like, tomorrow or today. Actually, I think you said you were going to the store or something. I missed your first message completely. I saw that you had a first message about doing something, but I missed what it was. Joe, thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> Santa Invincible! I love that one. Really happy with my animated emotes. I really love Xandot Excited Frog and Xandot Excited Frog Champ, both of them. They're both real good little froggy boys. Point one six off of my Sunny Flight Gold and it's only my third best. I think I got one that was, like, well over half a second behind it, and it was only fourth or fifth. I don't have very many sunny flights that good. <clears throat> well, I appreciate it, Joe. Heck yeah, get that XP. Get that bread. I think the main thing I need to do with the pace placement component is I believe there's a way that you can, like, attach a GitHub page to it, and it'll check that GitHub page for updates, and that's the really main thing I need to do before publishing it. Because there are other changes I'll want to make eventually, even if not soon, and I would really like for other people to be using it so that I can hear, like, other things people want. I've had a lot of big ideas for it, I just... I don't know, maybe I... Maybe I did that thing where my ideas for it got too big and now I'm not feeling motivated. <laughs> but I'm sure I would feel motivated again eventually. That's not gonna work. Oh. And so it would be nice if it would automatically update for people. Ooh, goodness. No, it's been really nice, though. It's been good at helping me put runs into context, you know? I had been having... Really? That was only a five and a half second loss? I was expecting a lot worse than that. I think if I get a good Lampop run, I could gold Dark Hollow by another second or two again. 
I've had some very, very good lamp hopless runs lately. I'll get that later. Um, and I'm gonna dodge this sheep, just for Eliza. What was I just saying? Oh, I've had a bunch of runs in the past where... Okay, so I've started getting pretty consistent with artisans. Um, I've had something like 30 artisans that were sub-1220, and my best artisans is a 1210. <laughs> um, and so I, I've just had this sense of, like, you know, Oh god, a 1222 artisans, this is terrible, should I reset on this? And then I've kept a few runs like that just to watch my pace and seen it go all the way up to, like... Oh no, this... 1226 artisans ended up being like my sixth best pace by the end of Peacekeepers. Artisans does not matter. There is so much time moving around all over the run. It's helped remind me early game is really, really unimportant. Another thing I'd really like to do, which shouldn't be hard, is just express the pace placement as a percentage. Um, just for people who do amass thousands of attempts in a category, it would be nice if they don't have to see, like, oh, this is run 112 out of 1300. They can see, like, oh, this is in the top 10%. There's that. I think I'd like to make something like a list of splits, but it just shows your neighboring paces. So, like, I'm on my fifth best pace right now. It would show, like, what time I would need to finish this split by to get onto my fourth best pace, etc. I guess show a, a sort of leaderboard of the next split of pace, if that makes sense. I think that would be cool, but that would be... Well, it wouldn't be that much work, but it would be more work than I'm ready to do right now. Actually, that would be really easy. I just don't want to do it. Not yet. <laughs> I'm lazy, and I'd rather be actually running Spyro. It also doesn't help. I recently made the decision that regardless of whether or not I hit my goal, I'm going to stop running this by the end of the month. Uh, not permanently, obviously. Never permanently, but I just I need a break. Any run could meet my goal, but that's been true for a couple of months now. And I don't feel like I'm actually getting a lot better in this time. I feel like I've just been kind of throwing myself against the category. So, if, uh, if by August... My goal is sub-130 on PS1 without credit skip and the music turned on. What I'm doing right now, sub-130. Um, and I've had a bunch of runs that could do that. My PB, my 130.25, lost 30 seconds in treetops and 25 seconds in loot. Um, among other time losses, it was also like 10 in Dry Canyon and 15 in Shemp and... Something like 8 or 9 in Blowhard, which is usually a pretty consistent level for me. Just, you know, it, there's time loss all over. It wasn't a special run. Heck. But yeah, I figure... If by August I still haven't done it, I, I want to be spending my time on other things. I like running a lot of games. I don't want to be doing this forever. Also, if I do find myself in a position where I can actually move myself away from this again, then eventually when I do come back, maybe I can get myself to actually practice more and really truly improve instead of just grinding. This 
one way I was thinking about it is, um... I feel like I'm at the point where my ideal situation is this run is sub-130 and so I can stop. And if I'm at the point where I want to stop playing the game, that's not a healthy point to still be playing the game, you know? What do you get from the store? You get milk, you get some water, you get... Um... Honey? What are some things that last for a long time? Because there's going to be a lot of traffic in town for the next couple of weeks, and getting to the store will be hard. Frozen foods? Canned foods? Get some beans? Lots of beans, actually. If you can just eat beans for two weeks. Actually, you told me once you didn't like beans. Never mind. I know that about you. Andy's mints, heck yeah. Plastic lasts a long time, that's true. Get, get as many plastic bags as you can. <laughs> a good point. I don't know about that. Oh, it works, okay. Oh, another thing I started doing recently that I think is going to be very, very good in the long term. I finally found some motivation to start saving video of my best segs. Because it keeps happening that I'll have a level where I'm like, Oh, that felt really good. Is this a best seg? And it's like two seconds short and I have no idea what went wrong. So now I'll actually be able to compare those. That was awful. I recently started trying to flame charge that bowl and I keep forgetting about it. Walking distance is a safe way. That helps, that helps. Um, how much choice they have will be one thing, though. I gotta remember to get the Nork. Nork on the right. charge. Cool, oh, cool, Joe. Have fun. Oh, the other reason I want to really be saving my best segs is I would like... Uh, for the really, really good ones to take out loads and see where they are. Because I think my Ice Cavern best seg is, considering the loads, fairly close to the community best. Like, within a second or two, which is way closer than any other level for me. But I don't know, because I didn't actually save the video of it, so... I'm waiting for another Ice Cavern gold. But that'll also be hard. It was a gold by like five and a half seconds, and I have not come anywhere close to it again since then. It was one of those levels where I finished playing it and I just had the sense of like, oh my god, this is what it feels like to be good at this game. Like, I know that in general I've been getting a lot better and I've been getting pretty good at it, but, oh my god, not that good. That felt like a couple notches better than I usually am. <laughs> but, you know, improvement happens, I'll get there again eventually. That's a nice thing about having a game that I don't think I'm ever really going to stop playing is I'm sure I'll get there again eventually. Is that you miss split and delete it 90% of the time? Oof. Frequently I get so distracted by how good the split is that I just start screwing up the rest of the run. <laughs> oh, not quite. Too far.
Oh, that's also a funny thing to see with my pace placement, is how often I have screwed up Night Flight. My Artisans was my 8th best Artisans. I have a good Night Flight and suddenly I'm on my 3rd best pace. Yo, Drop Bear. The lock big bacon eggs. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Where did I just see your name? Oh, I think it was SRC. I saw you had a 120 PB or something. GG on whatever that was. Like a 213 maybe? I don't remember. SR com Cirque de com I want to make some kind of a Cirque de Soleil reference but with Cirque com 218 gotcha The big sub 220 No, honestly, though, 120 is a hard category to, like, learn and memorize where everything is, so... All improvement is good. hate learning routes so much. I feel that. Honestly, the only reason I was able to learn 120 routes as well as I have... Hold on a second, I need to focus. Heck. Um, is because I was able to just, like, no life 120 streams for so long back in, like, 2018. If I had to learn this game now, I don't think I'd be able to do it. I'd be like I am with Spyro 2 and 3, where, like, I kind of know where to go, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> but back when I was getting started, there were, god, like, four or five people at the 127 level regularly streaming. Back when it was, like, Hum and Valen and Dact and, uh, Deo back when he was around that level. Probably more. It was so easy to just any time pull up Twitch and be like, here's someone that I think is better than I'll ever be. I'll watch them for a bit. Also, I've stopped uh, charge jumping on this ledge. I have thrown like 10 runs recently to failing that charge jump in various ways, so I've just stopped doing it. It's not worth it. town I golded today in one of my finished runs. It was only by a bit that I was happy to get it, but I also know that I have a couple more seconds at least. I got a mama slap at one point that lost me a bit. But it was pretty dang good other than that. I'm also just happy I got it though because I, I've known that I've had a gold here for a while. I had one run maybe a week ago where I missed, um, you know the last cannon guy before Dry Canyon? How sometimes it's really easy to miss him and then you get him after the level? I missed that guy and got him in the Clifftown segment and missed my Clifftown gold by like a quarter second. So I, I've known I've had a gold here for a bit. Although, as far as the golds go, this is a fairly small one. I also... Are you serious? <laughs> I also know I have, like, six more seconds in Haunted Towers and, like, ten in Dark Passage or something. A lot of late-game ones that I'm just... 
I don't know. My hands don't function that late in the game, that's why I can't finish runs. Yo, Composer. Thank you for the GL as well as the HF, I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Well, I was also massively sad earlier today. On the 13057 I got earlier today, for the first time in a run, I failed Double Stone Knot. I have gotten it in every run until now. But it finally happened. I finally failed it. <laughs> I know it was only a matter of time, but I can no longer say I have perfect consistency with it in runs. Hey, level 8. Let's go. Good bonk. Back to worm. God, everybody's gotta go back to worm someday. A good one. Glad you could stop by. I didn't mean for everybody's gotta go back to Worm someday to sound as horribly dark as it does. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe you don't see it as dark, maybe you all just accept it as a fact about the universe. As one should. God damn it. <laughs> Hit that in another run today, too. It doesn't lose that much time. It's just a couple of seconds, but it's just a silly mistake. On to the side! No! No, 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 not me to the side. Mama to the side. Oops. What? Where was my glide? That hurts. That, uh, that really hurts. I mean, I have a bunch of time saved here, so I'm probably still gonna be in the green anyway, but, like, I would be much more green if that didn't happen. That was a good chest. Getting the flame charge on that chest and then jumping up to the step is fairly difficult. I've been struggling with that a bit. Hey, Muzz. I sleep in a race car, do you? I'm not saving much time at all here. Oh well. Not a big deal. Did I get all of the gems from that chest? Huh. Yeah, I guess I must have. I'm on the right gem count. Because then it's three from this, which puts me at 80. Even if it's fed with your books. Nice. Very nice. I saw Deo approach that spring chest very slightly differently, in a way that certainly looked faster, but I need to look at it again and practice it to really get it. The problem with how I approach that spring chest is I flame it as I go up there, which means I need to do a really tall jump while turning around to catch the gem. Whereas Deo, like, got up there, did a really quick pivot to turn around, I needed that gem, uh, and then did a short jump to get the spring chest. But I don't know, turning around that way seemed really... dang it. Seemed really weird. That was 100% my fault, I was not paying attention. A 
Ooh, that was way too close. Close to falling in the drink after the first big guy. thing I really want to figure out is this chest. I want to know how to flame charge it. Because there's the route I learned a long, long time ago that John taught me to just hold square and up and left. But that's a little slow. It gets everything, but it's just a slow angle at it. But when I try to just, like, reach over and flame charge it after the dragon, the bats are always in the way, so I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong with that one chest. Also, you know, th this is something that I've just been really happy about as I've been getting better. Been kind of thinking about this a bit. I remember a couple of years ago when I was running this, where... I was frequently thinking to myself, like, gosh, there are a lot of, like rooms where I'm just kind of going through the motions and not actually thinking very hard about my lines, and I should really... You know, in these rooms, in these groups of gems, whatever, I should really just, uh... figure it out a little bit better. Really, you know, work out what I need to be doing. And now I'm at the point where I'm having those thoughts, but about, like, how I approach individual gems. Which is much better. It's so much better. You go, j -Ro. Get all the XP you can. Ooh, a good Gosnold step. I've been just sprinting past Gosnold a bunch of runs lately. I think it's usually like I hit one of the poles next to him and then just kind of fly over the talk box. There's another very small optimization I've been trying to do lately. I also screwed it up earlier today. Gosh darn it. Give me the gem. Um, it's with this fan chest. Just do the first flame way sooner than I was, like that. I don't know, somehow I messed it up so that the, uh, the fan didn't hit the guy on the backside and I had to glide around. Which I did, but it's still slow and I don't want to be in that position. <laughs> Probably gonna miss the stair cycle, but eh, it's fine. Oh my god, fine, fine. Just get that gem now. <laughs> Might even miss two stair cycles. Let's go. Yeah, I missed two. I don't know, maybe it was just one. I don't actually know cycles very well. Oh my god, please. <laughs> that is not how you're supposed to collect any of those gems. Did I? I got it, okay. 
I finally did actually miss one of the gems in that group recently, and so now I'm not trusting it anymore again. You know what? Sub-30 hitting this dragon. I'm on a good pace. That's all that matters. Um, the AC is not actively blowing, but it is on. And we are cool toast. It's crazy golf. I was clapping earlier so that the claps were louder than my voice, and apparently people couldn't hear the claps. Also, 46 months. That's wild. More months than should be allowed. Yeah, that was not a very good Alpine. <laughs> There we go, now the AC is on. It just turned on. Here, I'm clapping. Can you hear the claps? Can you hear that at all? I'm still clapping. Okay, now I'm picking up my controller again. Heck. Heck. My god. Flame charges, no! Catching the cycle either. It's really crazy. It's scary. I'm scared. I'm shaking. I believe the cliff town I'm comparing against was... Maybe it's not a gold anymore, but it was a gold when I got it, so pretty much guaranteed time loss here. So just be ready for that. My wizard peak was really good too, but I got a bunch of time to save in crystal and blowhard. And hopefully I don't lose a bunch of time right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been getting better at this. Still miss it occasionally, but it's been a few weeks now. Oh, what was the reference, Muzz? jump. You see Spyro get caught on the stair like that? Comical. Ah, that, yeah.
Why did I flame? <laughs> I knew what kind of chest was up there. I know the flame wouldn't hit it. Not bad. Considering I got hit at the start of the level and I messed up the bonking on the first few guys, only three seconds lost is not bad at all. I am happy. question about Spyro. Give me the odd question about Spyro. to expect a flame charge. A little worried about that, but it worked. The grass was originally purple? Wow. See, it's about the three fans in high caves, but I'll read it in a second. Good. Go down instead of wading through it. Oh, I did get it! Holy crap! <laughs> what a turnaround! Um... Camera? No. Oh. The short answer is no, because I'm not doing the three fans the fastest way that I should be doing them. Hello? Gem? Um, if you do those three fan chests correctly, there's basically no waiting. Oh my god, come on. Cannot get these three spring chests today. You know, considering how many things can go wrong on Wizard Peak, I'm very happy with that. Only eight seconds lost? Sure. Why not? Nice. Maybe I got that. I can't tell. I can never tell with that. Um... So, I guess one way to think about it is if you were to do the one that hits the thief last, then you would spend some time waiting for the fan projectile to go with the thief. Whereas if you do that first, you can, uh, you know, spend that time getting the other chests.
0.25 off of gold. Very nice. Very nice. Shower and clean off the sweat. Heck yeah. Being clean is nice. I'm gonna shower probably right after this run. I haven't done that today. That's very generous of the game to give me that hit. I'm sorry, what? Oh no. Oh no. Guys. Guys. Apparently I did not read everything about the noise cancelling software. It just told it just told me that my free noise cancelling ends in ten minutes. Oh no -y. I was led to believe that it was just free. Hello, Gem! Aw, oh, crap. I mean, I get- okay, in defense of the software, I didn't really read much of anything. People told me it was free, I believed them, I did not read anything. I clicked through the, uh, the download stuff. So that's too bad I missed that cycle, but that was a good blow harder than that. I still saved time on PB. And you know what? We're doing alright. We're doing alright. 113 on, on some of us. We're okay. That just means that in a little bit I'm going to have to change my mic source, and, uh, and you guys are going to hear my AC, because I'm not turning it off. 4203, sixth best pace. My best best pace is a 4153. Six runs within ten seconds halfway through. <clears throat> oh gosh. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. That did not hit that. We're good, we're fine. It's fine. We're fine. It said your minutes renew tomorrow. So I guess, uh... I guess it's like, it's some free amount of noise cancelling every day. It's called Crisp. And it's apparently great. But, uh... It's not forever. What's up, Kobe? How you doing? Hope things are well. Also, I, I guess I should take advantage of uh, the noise canceling while well, I have it. Well, I can still have a conversation with people. Did anybody catch uh, Craigle Bagel Spy vs. Spy run at ASM? Pretty good stuff. He was in a really cool spy cosplay. <laughs> oh, fart! I recommend looking up the VOD just to see his cosplay, because it is a pretty cool spy cosplay. <laughs> No, no, get up there. No! Darn. Gersh darn it. Missed it due to work, SMH. Imagine working. <laughs> Oh my god. I 
went for catching those two baskets together, and that is not something I should ever go for. That's so dangerous and stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, you see, Composer, I knew to react that way because I've missed the cycle that way dozens of times. I've learned how to react to a bunch of cycles in Terrace Village because I'm not very good at Terrace Village. I am... oh shoot. I am fairly confident I have never caught the God Cycle. I would actually be shocked if someone went through all my VODs and told me that I had caught it before. I don't... I don't really know what it looks like. I do. It's like half a second slower. It was the standard route for a while. It's like half a second slower, but you can get fodder easily. Like, there's two fodder that are nearly free to pick up if you take that route. If you take this route that I did. So, Deo doesn't do it, he doesn't feel like it's worth it for the fodder, which makes sense, Deo is good at this game. But, uh, if you want to be on at least blue sparks for Misty instead of green or sparksless, then, yeah, it, uh, it helps. Yeah, honestly, I'm almost surprised to see how much this route has fallen out of fashion. This was what... It seemed like basically everybody was doing back a couple of years ago. But times change. Yeah, for sure. That's one thing I loved about when I was starting, was there were so many people who were pretty high level all streaming at once. So I was able to learn from a bunch of sources. I assume that's still basically true now. There are quite a few people who still, uh, who still run, run 120 at a good level. I also just don't go looking for 120 streams that much anymore, so... I'm a little out of the loop of what people actually do. Misty Bog's another level I can gold by a ton. Okay, I'll get that gem later. <laughs> that was silly. Oh! Only one top runner, true. Because, yeah, I guess that's another aspect of it, is... Ooh, that was... That lined up well. Uh, when I was starting... You know, there were Chris and Saboom on top, and Gaz and Ali both had really good times. But basically none of the four of them streamed 120 much ever. And then there were, like, five people with 127s that... <laughs> We're all streaming regularly. So there were a bunch of options, and they were all equal, pretty much.
sub 50 on the Roscoe touch for the third time today and like the fifth time ever. <laughs> As far as Damon's Bay goes, I'll take it. That's it's about as good as I could hope. Two second gold. You know what? Sure. Hard and fast way being streamed and the easy mode being streamed? Exactly. I like Reboot because 100% of the runners are really cool people. Very few communities you can say that about. Gosh, I'm actually nervous about Double Stone Knot now. Now that I've missed it once. Who knows, maybe I'll miss it again. Might be able to hear the stream soon, let's go. Wow, I'm like never on gold sparks there. <laughs> I just had this, like, gut reaction to try to avoid the fodder so Sparks doesn't run off, and then, uh... Then I realized, oh, I don't need to be. That's not gonna work. That's also not gonna work. Well, it will, but... I didn't mean to do the glide buffer, like, over the ramp like I did. That was a mistake. I mean, the thing with Double Stone Knot is I made such a point of calling it free. <laughs> it, it is silly, though. I know I'm gonna miss it sometimes. That's just the way of things. Gotta learn to accept that. Nope. Bad angle going going off that ledge, and I often have a bad angle going off that ledge. I need to work on that. Wait, I'm on my best base? I just noticed that first of 92. Yeah, I guess I am. My PB was really good going into treetops. Okay, here we go. Did I just miss that fan chest? No, I didn't. Okay. Easy. I remain more consistent with double stone knot than I do with single stone knot. <laughs> Vortex and treetops, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Vortex and Treetops, that's such a weirdly hard jump. <laughs> it shouldn't be, there's no reason for it to be, but... Sometimes you just miss it and then you can't get it back. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, like, oh my god, you're, like, 30 seconds ahead of your PB, this is so good, but keep in mind, it's really easy to choke in, like, literally every level for the rest of the run. I 
have blown more than 40 seconds on nearly every split for the rest of this run at some point or another. I am only comfortable with my pace when I stop the timer. <laughs> Pretty sure I can be getting those big guys differently, but I don't remember how. Yeah, Waffle. I should really try Log Jump more. I've done it before. It's cool. I like it. I just... I don't know. This is silly. I say I should do it more. I'm not running Vortex. There's no reason for me to be doing it more other than it's cool and I want to be good at it. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so proud of myself the other day. Um, someone... I was in a voice call with someone, and they asked me to do a Vortex run for them, and I did, mostly. Um, and in Shemp, I failed the current Shemp strat, and I was like... Uh, I don't feel like dying and resetting, I'll do the old one. And I got the wall glide strat. The the one I did in I think I did it in my PB, my 2212. Ah, almost almost gold. I golded this like yesterday, so. That felt good, but obviously still time to save. But anyway, I was just remembering how at the time people were like Oh yeah, this wall glide strat's cool, but it's definitely not worth it. Nobody's ever gonna do this, and like, me with years of rust on it can just come back and do it with no problem. Gimme. Very nice. 57.21. What a pace. 20 seconds ahead of best pace, less than a minute and a half off of some of best. I shouldn't get too cocky. I should stop talking. <laughs> Haunted Towers especially. I can lose like 40 seconds in Haunted Towers so easily for so many reasons. Gonna do that for 40 seconds. Bam, 40 seconds lost. Easy. Gonna deliberately lose 40 seconds in Haunted Towers just to prove a point. Yeah, that. Nope. That missed toast. Mmm, rusty toast. Delicious. Oh, do you like your toast blackened? Yeah, I like mine with a little bit of rust on it. One. Nope. Oh well. I need to lab that again. I feel so dumb for not keeping a recording of my old strat for that proxy. I had a consistent strat for the squeeze from that approach, and I forgot what it was, and I have no recordings of it. I've been doing this route for years. Lucia does this route too, I know. It doesn't save much time, but it makes me feel special. <laughs> no, I just like the route, I don't know. I like goofy routes I come up with. Really? Okay, oh well.
not what I wanted to do, but wasn't too slow. I like to try to flame charge that second chest and then jump and catch the firework chest the firework gem out of the air. That one armor in the corner, I've been missing the flame charge on that one recently, so I'm happy I got that. And I am on blue sparks, so I can charge this fireworks chest as well. I think I got a new haunted gold today with needing to flame this chest and wait. So, you know, I've still got some time there. That was a really bad attempt. So was that. Yeah, that does not surprise me at all. Oh my god, what are these? I'm doing it from so far away. Uh, I guess I'll just get this sparksless. It's not that hard. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the Nork. Hey. Oh good. Okay, go. Cool, cool, cool. We're good. Nope. Bad flame charges. I've been missing a ton of flame charges lately. It has been unfortunate. Got all the gems though. We're out of there. Lost some time, but nah, it's fine. 20 seconds I almost expect to lose in Haunted. Yeah, you totally can. People have lied and said, well, I don't do that route because you can't do the squeeze then, and they're lying. You can, it's just, we don't know how, really. We don't have a setup for it. I have had a setup for it, but it's hard, and I don't remember it. I think it, as I recall, it required getting zapped. I don't know, I, I get salty about people telling lies about this route. What is going on? Oh my god. Basically, the important thing to remember is that before, like, 2019, we didn't know how to do the squeeze proxy at all. We thought it was random. Well, we. A lot of people thought it was random just because no one had really seriously lapped it out yet. So I find it annoying that people now are like, well, I don't know how to do the, the squeeze proxy from there, so you can't do it. And like, it's dumb and people are dumb. <laughs> that was really bad movement. Uh, yeah, things are going alright. I was mildly frustrated with something at work lately, but... Nothing big. No. No! <laughs> Dark Passage. 
I told you guys, I can throw it on any level I want. No expectations. Hey, Farn. Uh, one thing is, I've never seen or even seen anybody come close to doing it where you get the squeeze over the wall. But since that's not something anybody is really going for anyway, I don't think that's important. But also, I still have no reason to believe that that means it can't be done. Ooh, good. I've been missing that flame charge a lot. No! Dummy! Well... <laughs> Hush. Nobody I've been watching. I.E. nobody. No, come on. Hit the thing. Okay, so we're losing just a bunch of time here immediately. <laughs> hey, Audrey. It's a blue dinosaur. Like Beaker from the Muppets, they do. They absolutely do. Originally, Spyro was green, and they had to change it because he blended in with the grass, and all of the Dreamweaver's enemies were Beaker from the Muppets, but they had to change it for copyright reasons. was going to be a tie-in game with Muppet Racing for the PS1. Gosh, why is telling lies so much fun? Like, sarcasm is one thing, but one of the kindest jokes I tell is just telling lies. <laughs> Man, this is a bad Dreamweavers. <laughs> It's not like anything's going, like, catastrophically wrong, it's just bad all around. Uh, that pace does say first. First of 73. This is, in fact, my best pace by a little bit. I'm a little worried because I did have a run a couple of days ago that was only a few seconds worse than this, so still, like, comfortably sub-130 pace that died to Latif Crash. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if, uh... We'll see if Latif curses me. Are you serious? Sure, whatever. I could just not go for Latif Crash, but where's the fun in that? Did I say Latif Crash? I could just not go for... What, what, what am I trying to say? Like, Latif before fireworks?
I'm obviously not going for Latif Crash. That's not what I... That was not my intent. Latif Crash or Bust. I wasn't sure about those gems for a second there. Oh my god, I almost missed that. <laughs> Ooh, wee. gem homed in. That was a gold! That's my second gold in a row on this level! I golded Lofty in my last run! Let's go! Okay, time to find out. Moment of truth! Oh, let's go! The run continues! Good, because this is even better than my other pace. This is like, I mean, I guess I can check in a second, because my other one was my best pace. Yeah, this is nearly 20 seconds better than my other pace. However, we still have Jacques and Cove and... Loot? I commonly lose a bunch of time in. Even if I don't PB, though, what a goddamn day of runs. Two runs within about 30 seconds of PB, and then this pace. <laughs> like, wild. I never have full days like this. Usually I have, like, one good run, and then I'm spent. Playing it safe on these platforms. I sometimes do the faster jumps on those, oops, on those platforms, but meh, nah, whatever. <laughs> Jumping off the supercharged ramp there in Lofty. Oh. Ooh. I should also look at this double again. I know you can double those chests pretty easily, I just don't. Good. In my 130-40 earlier today, I, um, I messed up Jacques because of this platform. Lost like 20 seconds there. Boo leveled up, let's go. Big dings. That said, Jacques is not over yet. Still have this wall glide that I mess up pretty often. I'm not good at this. See, I'm not good at it. <laughs> Lol. What am I doing? Which direction am I going? Ah! 
That's too bad. If I did that correctly, this very well might have been a gold. <laughs> oh well. What'd you do, Muzz? You bought a basketball. You dunked a basketball. You did a kickflip. What was it? You ate a basketball. You ate a skateboard. Worked the entire day from bed. Let's go. The dream. That sounds like something I would really like to do one time and never again. So here's a fun thing about Nort Cove. I think Nort Cove has my biggest gold potential, uh, but it has my biggest gold potential because I'm terrible at this level, so I also could just as easily lose 20 seconds. My first 130 today lost maybe half a second to my gold here, and my second one today lost about 20. So it really can just go either way. <laughs> Golf, I would be so impressed if you could even figure out how to do that. Oop, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. That's, that's a big part of why I lost so much time there on my second run. Oh well. I actually caught that. I didn't think I did. Get it? Thank you. Before someone called you and you needed to move. Nice. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, really. Yeah, this is not a good move. <laughs> oh well. Again, does not matter how the rest of the run goes. I am so happy with my paces today. I am playing out of my mind. And we're good, we got all the gems. That's not... well, it's not how to set up that double. But that's okay, because we got all the gems, that's what matters. So yeah, think about how bad this was, and then notice that I lost less than 10 seconds to my best seg. My best seg is not good here. I'm proud of you, Muzz. You did good, kid. That's not a flame charge. Where are any of my flames? Oh my god. Imagine if my circle button just broke right now. Couldn't flame anymore. I 
many lives do I have? I think I'm on two. I should be on two. I'll find out after I death abuse. <laughs> so I think I was at two when I picked up the life in Jacques and that put me at three and then I died in Jacques right after. I don't know, maybe I'm like way more than that and I just haven't been paying attention. I mean, that's the reality of it, is I have not been paying attention. I've been busy uh, gawking at my pace. Gimme. Composer leveled up, let's go. Yeah, I'm good on lives. Muzz, uh, I know you would have been, like, by yourself and no one would have been around to appreciate it, but at some point, did you have the realization that you could press Y instead of Y-E-S and then felt like you tripled your productivity? <laughs> really bad. Actually, that's not that bad. Much worse things could have happened. I'm okay with that. The worst part about that is that that stopped me from going the split. <laughs> no, I'm good with I'm good with that. <clears throat> hey, gimme. So again, I know this pace looks good, but I just want to remind you guys, I routinely lose more than 20 seconds in loot. <laughs> loot is one of my worst levels. I never play it. I'm so bad at getting the fast planes. I'm so bad at getting even the first plane. So like, don't get excited, please. I am begging you. I know I directed that at all of you, but that was like 90% something I was just telling myself. <laughs> I've also died in the nasty chase a number of times in my life, so, uh, you know, a lot can go wrong. This run isn't over. Maybe the game will crash during the credits, who knows. Never has, but there's a first time for everything. Muzz. Your excitement shows all over your face. Latif just delayed the crash. It's a delayed Latif crash. I'm really happy that flame hit nasty. <laughs> because I did it from really far away and then I looked away to read chat. <laughs> And over to the fat dragon sings. That's right. That's right. Let's see, what am I missing in my Discord? Is it Wordles? It is. It is Wordles from Golf. <sighs> Gosh. Gorsh. I got a 123 any percent? Hell yeah. You're just a... Pog indeed. It's pretty poggin' times right here. Jesus Christ, my average is a low 131. My average. 
is less than a minute off of my PB. That's what running this has been like for me lately. <laughs> I've had so many good runs that just aren't good enough to get sub 130. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My average has historically been like five minutes off of my PB. No, not that much. It's been like three minutes off of my PB. No. No. God, no. My goal is sub-130 PS1 without any kind of credit skip. That's, that's what I'm aiming for. Also, can we get some music by Stuart Copeland's in chat? I wasn't thinking about it at the time, but, uh... You know, that that is what that redemption is for. <laughs> for the credits. Thank you. Thank you, Composer. Um, I don't think anybody has, but there are a lot of people who are capable of it. I mean, there aren't a lot of people who are capable of it. There are a few people who are capable of it. Playing on PS1, leaving the music on, and not doing any form of credit skip loses around five minutes. So there's four people who have sub 125s, but there are also people who are totally capable of it and uh, just haven't gotten a run that good. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate all of the music by Stuart Copeland's, and I appreciate the Boo Toaster from Lieutenant Boo. Oh, I'm on green sparks. Oh, well. I'm losing a couple of seconds in the treasure room from not charging into things. Thank you, Joe. In before 130 flat. Oh my god, finally! That's that's a good omen right there. I've been missing those magic stairs lately. Oh gosh, I should have turned off my air conditioner. I, um... Oh nice, I got the early rocket. I won't be able to hear the first plane if it's on. Oh well, I'll just guess at it. 130.01. Oof. Can't wait. I would laugh so hard. I love being in a good mood like this, where even if I throw PB, like not just the sub 130, if I throw PB, I would find it so goddamn funny. Oh, we got it. Okay, 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 okay. I am also bad at second plane, so... I, I used to be good at it. That's a lie, I was never good at it. I used to be passable at it. I have since gone out of practice because I never practice loot anymore, so... It's fine, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens.
clapped. Wait. Oh, noise canceling canceled. You can hear me clapping for myself. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we did it. It's done. I can stop playing this game. I'm so happy. I'm so happy and excited for when I want to come back to playing this game again. Yo, Vanny. Yo, Kara. Thank you, everybody, for the GGs. Technic Technicolor Fixie. It's a good hype emote. Oh my god. I just... Oh. I'm so happy also that I did this on stream. I've been doing a bunch of offline runs lately, and I'm so happy that I was able to get this one on stream. Ah, I'm thrilled! My longest, oldest speedrunning goal, sub-130 PS1 cs list. Done. Oh my god. Now I start going through redemptions? Maybe. Now that I don't feel obligated to play this all the time. <laughs> yeah, you got me, Buzz. Sure. As if I could pre-record a sub-130 and the first thing I wouldn't do is share it everywhere. Oh my god. So many years in the making. I mean, maybe it's just another in my long line of underestimating my abilities. But when I set this goal for myself, I did it with the attitude of like, yeah, that'll keep me going forever, that's good enough. I'll never actually hit that. goodness. God, look at that pace placement component! First of 70. Oh my god. Another part of this that I just love is that I moved up zero places on the leaderboard. I just think that's really funny. I'll think about it, Muzz. I would like to see how much time exactly I'm losing from loads and credits skip. I've done that with any percent before, but I never did that with 120. What place am I now? Like 32? If my 5 minutes estimate of time loss is correct, uh, that's the equivalent of fifth. But, I mean, in terms of just general movement. I, I never want to say, like, I'm basically fifth place, because, like, not needing to do credit skip is a big deal. Literally never losing a run to credit skip is a big deal. Not necessarily that the nerves would have hit me in this run, but just in terms of where I've been able to focus my practice. So, obviously I'm taking a break from this game for a while, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but when I come back, my next goal is to do credit skip and turn off the music and try to beat John, try to get the best PS1 time. Uh, and then I'll see where I am. I... I think I'm totally capable of third place as it stands right now. Not like right now, like I would need to practice, but like... 
Like, I think if I did a hundred Dreamweavers homeworld runs, I could take like a minute out of that homeworld. So, a 123 would not be out of the question. But then the next question is, could, could I get a 123 on a PS1? I still don't think I would ever go for world record. I'm not... Even if my movement was at the point where, at my best, I was on Deo's level, I don't have the time or patience to grind the game as much as I would need to. So world record is definitely not in my interest. But, uh... But third place, maybe. Maybe. That's true. That's true, Muzz. That's a good point. Is Saboom still second? Yes. Deo has a 121.02, Saboom is second with 121.55, Chris is third with 123.26. God, I'm just... I'm so happy. I... Unbelievably happy. 